Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and welcome to my new video. And today we are going to talk about the newest update from Apple on our iPhones. iOS 18 just came out a few days ago. So right here I have my iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is not the 15 Pro Max. And so let's see what new features we have on our iPhones. So first of all, you unlock the phone and the first thing that you notice it, that you notice it is when you bring out the control center. We swipe down and we're going to see a little bit of changes here and there. And actually the first thing that you're going to see is that little control center right here. It is a little bit changed. And then if you click, you can see that there is a lot of changes right here in the design and the option that you can have right here. You can see also that there are like more colors in this control center than before. But then right here on the side, on the right side, you can see different icons. These are for different control centers. You will not have only one control center for everything, but you can have like multiple control center. Like the first one, it is like kind of the favorites. So the part that you can customize the most. The second one, the music tab. So you can control whatever media you played on your iPhone. Then you have your home. So you can control your smart devices and your smart home, of course. And then lastly, to enable or disable whatever connection you want right from here. Another thing that you can see right here, it is a little bit hidden, maybe at the first glance, but right here on the top right side, you have the button to shut off your iPhone. So you don't have to just press it. As you could saw, it did nothing. And I think this is to prevent to shut off your iPhone by accident, but you have to, to hold on it and then you can shut off your iPhone. Very, very useful in my opinion. So you will not have to go for the button combina combination and all that stuff. Very intuitive like this. Also, if you click on the plus icon, you can see that there is a lot to customize right here. And really from this screen, it doesn't feel like an iPhone in my opinion, because it is a lot customizable, as I said. So you can just add whatever controls you want right here, like you could do it before. But other than that, you can adjust the size of the tool right here. So like this, and it will resize how you want it. It's very, very cool, actually. So for example, I can make this bigger like this, so I can make smaller like it was before. I can move through spaces and then I can add another space if I wanted to. Very, very cool in my opinion. If there is maybe something that you use more frequently and you want it bigger or smaller, you can customize pretty much everything right here. Then one cool feature that we can activate right here, it is the torch, because if you activate the torch, you can see this new animation right here. I think it's very, very cool. And you can customize the projection of the torch. So you can make it like more soften, like this, more spreaded, or maybe you can do like a spotlight and it works actually. It's, it's really, really cool in my opinion. Very little changes, but I think it's one of the coolest because the animation is so, so good. But I mean, this is uh, Apple always. It does make this little animation that are very, very cool in my opinion. Then if I activate Siri right here, you can see that it is still the standard Siri because this is not still the version with the Apple intelligence because I mean, as I told in the previous video, we will not get the Apple intelligence here. So I mean, there's no, I think there is no hope also with the iPhone 16. I don't know if it's an option, but we will see. Anyway, you can also customize your lock screen and you can customize these two button right here. So you will not have only the torch and the cameras right here, but you can have whatever tool you wanted right here. You can just click the plus button and you can add whatever you want right here. But I got very used to have the torch right here and the camera right here. So I don't think I will change it right now, but I mean, there's still a good thing that you can change it whenever you want. Talking about customization, if you hold on the home screen right here and then you click on edit, you will have different option right here. And one of these is customize. That was not present before. So first of all, you can make your icons like larger and without the text under the icon. So you can see it. It's very, very minimal in my opinion, but for now I will keep it on small. 
Then you can switch to the dark mode right here. I don't know if I like yet the dark icons because some of the icons are not the best looking in dark mode. So for now, I will keep it in light mode. Let me know down below if you like the dark icons or if you're still on the light version. Then you can make it, of course, automatic with the time. But then the last option, it is tinted. So you can make your icons look whatever color you want right here. You just decide the color, the saturation, whatever, the contrast, and you can choose every color that you want. But I don't like this either because, I mean, that doesn't look very, very good, especially on my screen. So for now, I will keep it on standard. And this is another level of, of customization in iOS 18. Some changes in the settings app. So before you would see down below all the applications and you would see every option for every application. But now it's more refined and you can see only this option right here that says apps. And if I click here, we have all the application installed on my phone. And then from there, you can see pretty much every settings on the application. Then you can see right here from my control center, there is a new icon and it is this one for the vehicle motion cues. So if you activate that, you will not get sick in your car while while you are reading on your phone or maybe you are doing anything on your phone because these dots right here will appear and they will move with your car movement so you will not notice much motion sickness from the car as it was before so very cool feature in my opinion i will leave it right here because i do suffer from <laughs> car sickness so i will leave it on automatically because it works very good I just tried already. Then if you go into the video side right now, when you shoot a video, you can just pause the video and then you can resume the video. Very cool option. We didn't have it before. One thing that I wanted on the video, it is the option to rotate the camera and maybe go from the back camera to the front camera. But this, I think it's an option for, for the next update. One more thing that we have it is the option to hide with Face ID any application. If you go into library right here and then you scroll down, you can see this folder right here. It says hidden. And if I press it, it will unlock the folder and the app that are inside with the Face ID. And you can just hold on an app. And then if I click on require Face ID, you can choose either require Face ID. So the, the app will stay on the same position just for open the app you will have to use the face id or you can hide and require the face id so you can just hide from the home screen or from the library from whatever place you can hide the app and then to unlock the folder the hidden folder you will have to use your face id last feature that came to my mind it is the calculator update so if you go into your calculator standard right here you can click on the calculator icon and then you can choose math notes right here. You can type whatever function that you have in your mind and the calculator will just show you the results. Very, very cool. In my opinion, I'm, I mean, I will not use it in any case, but you will have this function on your iPhone. If you need it, it is right here. Anyway, these are some of the main features that we have right now with iOS 18. If you have some other let me know down below in the comments. If you know some hidden new feature, let me know it down below so we can share it together. If you did like this video, just hit a like button down below. I mean, it's free. And also, if you haven't subscribed on my channel, just click the subscribe button down below. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.